Hey, what's up guys? Um, I haven't given you a video in a few days and I wanted to give, give you one about one of my favorite subjects and that's coffee. Coffee's one of my favorite things in the world. Uh, and some of my favorite memories ever have been over a cup of coffee, you know, having amazing conversations with my mother when I was a teenager, you know, before school, um, just talking about history and politics and things like that. Um, having coffee with my friends in the Marine Corps or out in the field or, or on early mornings and just having amazing conversations there. Um, being creative, you know, making myself a cup of coffee when I'm writing in the morning before anybody's awake and just tasting it, smelling it and, and, um, just thriving off of it and, and creating some amazing things, creating businesses, creating um, different writings, different blogs, just really great memories for me. <clears throat> Coffee can have some amazing health benefits to it. Um, it's been demonstrated that some of the oils in coffee contain different types of antioxidants and different compounds that can really help your neurotransmitters and protect those neurotransmitters and prevent things like Alzheimer's and dementia. Um, but at the same time, there are some negative effects of coffee, right? You can burn out your adrenals. You can, um, uh, if you drink too much of it, you can, um, uh, get an upset stomach, you can get that jittery feeling, and you can get a caffeine crash. Uh, so what I'm going to talk to you about today is some ways of enhancing those positive effects of coffee while mitigating some of those super negative effects that you're going to get from it. So the first is this, and it, it, it's actually pretty simple. The brewing method that we use in a lot of ways is suboptimal. Um, the paper filter uh, you know, through a coffee maker where the, the water comes out on top of the grounds and then goes through a paper filter can actually remove some of those oils that have some of the major health benefits of coffee. And so you're getting all the caffeine, but none of those other amazing compounds that are going to help to protect your neurotransmitters and enhance cognitive clarity throughout the day. So what I do is I use a French press, um, and basically with this method, it's like a beaker with a plunger and a, and a filter on the, end of, on the edge of the plunger. You pour the water directly over the grounds and then at, after it's done brewing, you just push that plunger down and the wire filter um, strains out the grains um, but doesn't take out any of those oils that are gonna give you those positive effects. Um, so French pressing, or you can do cowboy coffee, but the risk there is that, you know, you get some grounds in your teeth or you're burning the coffee over direct heat or something like that. Cowboy coffee is where you just put it into a pot, uh, put the water into a pot and then you pour the coffee in there. Um, and you do it that way. I also drink Turkish coffee quite a bit. Um, I have a Turkish coffee maker that a couple of my friends from Jordan sent me and, um, you, you triple boil it and it's really fine powder and things like that. But the grounds are also in there and that stuff is awesome. It tastes great. And, um, it's, it's, it's like jet fuel. Um, the, uh, the other thing you can do is you can take L-theanine with your coffee. Now, L-theanine is an awesome compound because it works synergistically with caffeine. Um, L-theanine, um, uh, it contains GABA, which stimulates the calming neurotransmitters in our brain. And so because it's, it's allowing for a sense of calm in your brain, um, it'll take away some of that jittery effect. So you get all the wakefulness of caffeine and all the benefits of it, but you're not going to get all like super jittery and bloodshot and stuff like that. And, and so L-theanine can, um, can help you get that awesome caffeine effect for a longer period of time without getting the crash. Uh, and again, it can, can keep you from getting that jittery effect. Where do you get L-theanine from? Well, you can get it from drinking tea, but it's gotta be um, super high-end tea, like really expensive shade-grown tea. And the most you're gonna get out of that is, is 50 milligrams, which isn't really gonna be enough for you to have a positive benefit off of it. But you can, and, and plus the tea is gonna be super expensive. Um, you can supplement with L-theanine, and you can get L-theanine from some bulk powder companies. You can get it um, from different supplement companies or things like that. And, uh, um, you know, you take it with your coffee or uh, in the morning if you want to uh, get rid of that jittery effect. Or if you're drinking your coffee later in the day and you want to be able to get to sleep on time, you can take L-theanine 
then because L-theanine actually helps to um, keep coffee from keeping you up because of that calming effect on the neurotransmitters. Um, the next thing that we have to consider is that we're drinking coffee at the wrong time a lot of times. And I'm the worst offender at this because, like I said, I like to drink my coffee early. I like waking up and having that smell in my face and, you know, just rah, awesomeness. But um, what happens when we do that, we're wasting cortisol. Uh, and a lot of us think cortisol is a bad thing, but cortisol actually helps us to wake up. That's um, in the sleep cycle, cortisol enters the brain and it um, helps you to wake up on time, helps you to shake the sleep off your out of your eyes and helps your mind to get ready to, to do work, to do what you're gonna do in the day. And without cortisol, you tend to miss your alarm clock. Um, you tend to have a, a really hard time waking up. Um, and drinking coffee immediately after you wake up, it can actually disrupt that process where cortisol enters the brain and, and make you think that you don't need it. So it becomes a lot harder to wake up. So what's the solution to this? Um, the first is to drink coffee a couple hours later, right? Um, you know, wake up, maybe go do your workout, go through your morning routine or get up, go to work and just don't drink coffee until your first break. Uh, and when you do this, what will happen is you'll get all the benefits of the cortisol from waking um, from for waking up, and at the same time, you'll get the lasting effect of the caffeine throughout your day, and so you can actually get more benefits out of your coffee throughout your day, getting energy, getting through that 2 p.m. slump or whatever it is, and uh, it can actually ha help you have more wakefulness, um, you know, later in the day when, when we're feeling a little bit like sleepy or tired from work or things like that. The other thing you can do, and this is what I do because I, like I said, I'm a complete coffee addict, um, is you wake up and you have a cup of decaf. And then a few hours later, you have a cup of real, real coffee. And, you know, before I actually knew what I was talking about, I would have said decaf, that's freaking sacrilege. But honestly, it does help. It, it, you know, it helps me to get my taste of coffee in the morning. Um, and at the same time, um, keeps me from having all those negative effects of ca drinking caffeine too early. So like I said, coffee has some amazing benefits to it. Um, you can actually get so much out of drinking coffee, um, so much for your health. And honestly, so much for the soul, guys. I'm sorry to get all wishy-washy here, but I, I literally love this stuff. Um, but at the same time, as with anything, you have to respect it and use it properly. Uh, and so if you guys have any other questions for me, hit me up at gettingshredded at gmail.com. Check out my new websites, guys, warriorsoulgoji.com. Uh, make sure you check out my clothing company at warriorsoulfitness.com. Um, we've got some amazing content up there. And as always, you can find some amazing fitness content over at chrisalbertfitness.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day.